They are not the only ones here either. Fire! Stay out of the spriggan. Or wait, are you on their side? I believe there's been a terrible misunderstanding here. It's purely coincidental that my men and I happen to be here. And what's your excuse, Professor Cronkite? Why are you with them? Must I really explain my actions here? To understand the most unusual phenomenon that has taken place today, I enlisted help to investigate it. <sighs> are you fighting again? The same to you. I'm glad you're all okay too. We have no time for infighting. The safety of Edith's civilians should be priority number one. If Wards won't convince you to stop, I'll be forced to exert the full authority of the CID. Understand? Y you've got to be joking! Well, if the President wills it, we'll comply. That that's not quite what I meant. Seeing as Mr. Arkwright has only just arrived, perhaps it would be wise to recount the details in more depth. Come along, Alvis, was it? We can continue this conversation in the cafe. Sure, that's fine by me. But who put you in charge? We appear to be rather outnumbered. Oh, but their numbers are meaningless against our combined might. You are men, Dwinja! Just as I feared, we must take down the main body! Hmm, a more even playing field would be preferable, of course, but as things are now... Oh? <laughs> it appears the pieces are now in place. 
Mr. Arkride! Understood. We shall crush them in one fell swoop. Call it a hunch, but I suspected you would take action immediately. Pardon my presumption, but I had hoped to gather as much information as possible. I simply hope to get a handle on the situation on behalf of Heiyue. That and Miss Twining's superior skills have been the subject of my attention for quite some time. Huh? What say you? We would happily welcome you upon you leaving his office. While I appreciate the kind offers, I am quite content with my current contract. Second Lieutenant Kayla is waiting. Let us return to the Orbal Cafe. Not so fast! Just when I thought we'd finished evacuating everyone, you had to show up. If it isn't our little punk of a tenant. 
Good to see you hanging in there. You really came! You're here, Tao! <laughs> you could have come a bit sooner. While I'm doing that, back up a bit. You're better when it comes to forcing your way through enemies. Leave disrupting them to me. If we can keep that sphere in check, that should make life easier for everyone. <sighs> this might have been a mistake. If only we had three, even two more people. Didn't expect Heiyue's White Orchid Dragon to be with you. I'm ready! The same to you. Let's kick some butt! So our theory was right on the money then.
stay back. Hey there. Figured you guys would get involved. And that's all she wrote. I couldn't agree more. Oh, you're the guy Aaron's staying with, right? <laughs> Please, you've got to help him. I'll leave the explaining to you, Bermati. We're getting out of here. Catch you later. I'm glad you're well. But this city is a battlefield. I have my own battles to fight, and you should do the same. I have heard of your plans from Mr. Thorndike. Take care, then. I'll inform you if I learn anything of value. <laughs> Sorry, Sylphide. I'm looking forward to seeing how you get through this, Arkride. That reward alone is enough to justify Almada's leaders returning from Gehenna. His face is my type, but he's also living proof that it's possible to be too much of a bad boy. Now that Chief of Security, on the other hand, is just plain dreamy. This isn't the time, Bramati. We have to... Ugh. Come now. I told you to try and stay calm until your wounds have healed. Come on inside, everyone. I'll try to fill you in on everything that's been happening here. So sick of this shit right now! Keep a cool head, Wei. These may be a challenge, but they're a challenge we can handle. Do you intend to let all you've learned under Van go to waste? I don't need you to tell me that, desk jockey. Van! Small fry! Made! I suspected you would show up about now. But I didn't think you would have the guild's rising star with you. Well, I could have taken out these things just fine without you guys. But I'm gonna hurl if I see them for another minute. So let's just get this over with! Forward, everyone! Let's make this quick!
almost as if they're sub-devices to whatever is causing this event. Huh? <sighs> ah, screw you. Saying that kind of crap is why I call you old. Anyway, after that creepy-ass call and all that's happened since, we know what we've got to be doing. So quit it with the big talk and just be happy you've got me on the team again. Because I've got the strength of a hundred decrepit farts like you. <laughs> Alright then, let's get back to the cafe and bar for now.
<laughs> I've been waiting for your arrival. I'm not entirely opposed to vulgarities, but such foolishness is downright repulsive. I do so appreciate how low lives like these help us cream of the crop stand out. Well, we may not have been counting on their arrival, but we suspected it was about time for yours. Clausel and the White Orchid Dragon arrived not long ago, too. They informed us of what you were up to. Elroy also filled me in on our current predicament. It sounds like it's quite the mess, but why not let the mess wait and indulge yourselves with a good rest first? Jen and the Direwolf were here not long ago, but they have since returned to the surface. Ashlad and the Shinobi of Ikaruga have also departed. We do have some other unexpected guests in their place, however. I'm pleased to see you're doing well, Arkride. <laughs> Good to see you guys! Here, the surface has gone down the shitter. <laughs> the same to you, Kincaid. It's good to see you, sir. I decided to make my way here after I finished talking with Fawn and the Crown Prince. I've heard that this place has changed quite a bit since I held my position. So I've been meaning to revisit it for some time. And I see why you'd want to come, Mr. President. The rotten air of this dirty, dingy hellscape stinks of magnifical Eros and savagery. Oh, pinch me, Adios! I'm already dying to film something here! Well then, how about we take a seat over there for the time being?
Well, with that out of the way, I also have something I would like to discuss. I have no specific problem with our master accompanying you on your travels. That being said, Mr. Van Arkride, while I am aware that your group is handling some peculiar items that have their share of interesting effects, you wouldn't happen to have any other ideas on what could be causing all of this, would you? While unofficial and known only to a select few, there just so happens to be a word in the church's lexicon that refers to what we are seeing. Specifically, to the state of devils descending upon the real world and bringing about chaos. Isn't that right, Master Beargard? You are correct. Only those involved with the darker side of the church will ever come into contact with it. But Edith is currently in a state of what we would call... Pandemonium. It's mentioned in a text called the Book of Ezer. It's an apocrypha that only members of the Grosritter, Iscariot, and chosen others are permitted to read. For good reason, too. It's a book that eats away at the reader's soul the longer they peruse it. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but... Might you have been one of its perusers at some point? You kind of lost me near the start of all that, but your only problem is that Van read some banned book, right? What's the big deal with reading a banned book or two? I've got mountains of them hidden away. Some real juicy ones, too. Oh, I think it is. I know Van. I know he's a man's man with a good head on his shoulders and a burning passion for all that's right. Hell, I'd be happy to appoint him the successor of my gaudy spirit if anything ever happened to me. You're a smart one, too, which is why I thought you'd be able to see him beyond your personal bias. A real man follows his eyes and his heart. He doesn't let his position blindly turn him into some prejudicial schmuck. Got a counter to that, Leon? Very well. As students under the same master, I will be counting on you, Van. My work requires me to stay here for a while longer. But should you run into Celise on the outside, then please, give her my regards. <laughs> I can give it some thought, I suppose.
Come this way. Yeah, same here. Now get out of there already! The monsters will give up if you get far enough away from that orb up there. I need to go, Odette. Don't try and stop me. No way. What are you talking about? You can barely walk. Can you please help me with him? Say, Van, I've got a question for you. Though, I don't like asking it. You met Dante's before he took over Almada, didn't you? Witness and cower as this relic ends all things by ushering in a new dawn, pandemonium! Ren! This is certainly unexpected. Everyone, stay on your guard! Frozen? Is this some kind of space-time interference? Could it be because of the Genesis? Whoa! Is that an orb? Huh? My Genesis is reacting! Oh no! Anyas! Get away! Yes! No! <sighs> it's trying to absorb her into its phase space. They can't hold on much longer. Albert, Odette, go hide at the Eastern restaurant down the street. If someone dependable like the Spriggan comes by, tell them what happened. 
We'll be sure to survive until then! Looks like we're not a minute too soon. Hope you're down for us lending you a hand. Don't sweat it. Hold down the fort, Walter. I'm going in. I'll give this thing a piece of my mind. <laughs> Quit messing with me, you damn bull! I'm very happy. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Please come again. Mama, Papa, where are you? Lou, Josh, Est, T. Why? Why can't I remember? <laughs> Their names are Estelle, Joshua, Tita, and Luve. You have to come back to us, Ren. Please! We're here for you! Uh Oh, 
how foolish. I let it get the better of me. I wonder if these spears... Ren! Anya Snow, get back! <laughs> you have to stay away, Anyas! Right now, it's focused on me. I'll try and hold out until help comes. I... I won't. I want to keep those I care about safe by my own hand. Just like you and Van always have. <sighs> <laughs> Growing up right before my eyes. <laughs> you took your time, my prince. Jin's here too. Sorry for the wait, Agnes. Wow! Not often we get to see you in a bind. You did great, Ren. Now leave the rest to us. Here we go. One large and four medium-sized foes. You sure you're up to this? I'm a little tired, but I'm fine. Please, let me fight with you. I want to protect what I hold dear. As a proud part-timer at Arkride Solutions! And yes! Unbelievable. Gotcha. Then go ahead and show off, on yes. Right!
How grand it is to see you all collectively toil ever closer to the truth. And I suggest you continue to toil, for our banquet's preparations are progressing swimmingly. I was content to leave it at that, but Melchior here informed me that your challenge is not nearly thrilling enough. Absolutely. Compared to the fun we had at Horacion, our party here is boring. So I thought... How can we spice this up? And my answer for you is simple. The moment this call ends, a five-hour countdown will begin. Fail to stop us before the clock hits zero, and we will let loose the hounds of chaos. That is to say, pandemonium will not only consume the Republic, but the continent as a whole. We expect great things of you all, and especially of our carnival's victors. May we meet again soon. Oh, and by the by, I put up a scary strong barrier around the Vontai district. Good luck cracking that one. Here's a little hint. It's linked to those demon spheres all around the city. Break every single one and maybe you'll have a chance. Anyway, toodaloo. Let the countdown begin.
Wait! Leave this to us. Illume the darkness! Seven Shams! I shall join you, even if it has been some time since I last fought. Be gone, foul fiends! And disperse! It's over! They're a Throgna! We should retreat for now. We'll only wear ourselves down trying to face them all. This way, you guys! You'll be safe indoors. There's more than enough space for everyone in here! Please, all of you, be careful. That includes you, Van. Don't ever let what Dingo said leave your mind. Seven stones from the Sea of Stars. Become my strength! Then allow me to grant you my aid. You are? 
Am I ever happy to see you, Spriggan? Nice work! <laughs> it's payback time, after I let myself get captured without a fight, of course! Everything's back to normal. <sighs> That's what you get for messing with me. But what took you so long? We were waiting for ages. Don't try and get cute with me. I just have a duty as Grimcat to... Uh... I heard nothing. Hmm. I feel like I just heard something mind-blowing. But my brain's kind of fried right now, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> forget it. I... appreciate that. I see everything worked out. I'm glad you're all right, Your Highness. And you were from the church, I believe? Indeed. Though I regret that I am alone. All of my subordinates are frozen in place. Huh? But what Am I missing something? So this is connected to you in some manner. I did wonder. Speak. We don't have much time. But this sounds like something we should at least hear a brief summary of before heading off. I still need you guys to prepare for my next role, which means that I'll be sticking around until I'm satisfied. So let's take these jerks down. Who knows? Maybe the experience will come in handy if they ever ask me to play Grimcat. Hello again, it's time for another update. The Demon Spheres in the 2nd, 9th, and 10th districts have all been destroyed. Now you have 3 hours and 50 minutes remaining. Better get to it now.
come on. Not more of these things. It's like there's no end to them. Farewell. Flying Swallow! Let's do this, partner! I'm so glad to see you're all safe. Leon told me you guys were busting your asses, and looks like he wasn't wrong. Not that you'd dream of slacking with our master breathing down your neck. Yeah. All this stuff went down just after we finished paying. But she said she was leaving this district to us and ran off. Nothing catches Beauty's blade off guard. Don't know where she went, though. Hmm. I wish we knew where Catra was, too. We split up and searched for him after our enemy's last message, but he was nowhere to be found. Van and friends sighted. It's one of his little things. It doesn't seem to be floating very steadily, though. Negative. The location of Xeros is unknown. All signs suggest that Katra was absorbed into the space within that demon sphere. It's too dangerous to stay here. We need to go. The cathedral's not far. Come on. Damn it all. So that's where Catra is. Hmm. Van, you said that those absorbed by a demon sphere are not in any immediate danger, correct? That is not hard to discern. They are simply absorbing those who bear a close connection. And by that, I do not mean close to Almada, but rather the key at the center of this predicament. Age begets wisdom, and wisdom allows one to see that which the young cannot. I imagine the professor and the roaring lion are of the same mind. Response found. Heat signature detected. There he is! Zeros! I'm so 
so glad we found you. I'm here now. Damn right I can. Searing seal of mine, shining from the abyss. Overflow from within me and become a great stream to quell this evil! Don't! You're up against me! Why, Mom? Why, Dad? I don't... want this. I don't want to be... Catra! Hang in there, Catra! Please don't cry. We're here for you. Sorry for the wait, you three. You... you're here! Oh! Everybody's here! Giant sphere absorbed us, then. Bear guard! Van! You all came for me! Catra is back! Was it you two who led everyone here then? Thank you. But it looks like we're not out of the woods yet, huh? Of course. I had an awful nightmare, but a good sleep is sometimes just what you need to wash away the fatigue. 
Time to make this thing pay. They did it, huh? Whoa! So those spheres can deploy their own phase spaces. It defies all imagination. Still, I expected you to be here a little sooner. Though I did have faith you would come for me. me already <laughs> I'm glad everything worked out in the end Katra Van Van I want attention Dealing with devils is part of my job description anyway Professor! Supervisor! Van, I believe you and you alone hold the key to quelling this chaos. The devices that your great-grandfather left you will no doubt be essential as well, Agnes. However, I don't believe you should obsess over the negative aspects of your role in this. Instead, take a close look at your surroundings. Most of the city's people are frozen, but so many are not. And the sheer number who are not is a testament to just how many bonds and friendships you have formed with everyone around you. I'm glad to hear that. I'm sure that will be the key to opening a path forward. Right. And we'll be right there with you, of course. I don't feel like I've just been drawn into this randomly. This must be at least somewhat connected to my birth and circumstances as well. 
Why, Mom? Why, Dad? I don't... want this. I don't want to be... Mom... Of course. I can tell that he, Theo, and Zeros are as much a part of your group as anyone. Do your best, Catra, but always behave like an engineer should, calmly and methodically. I will, Gran. Hello, Agnes. I see you're all gathered. Of course. I managed to reboot it using a special resonance device operated by a general purpose fork of the Aeon system. Not to mention a little help from Marduk's new service, but let's keep that tidbit between us. Desperate times call for desperate measures, after all. Oh, I didn't know Professor Hamilton was with you. Yes, that's right, but you still should be able to use it for everything you need. I contacted Associate Professor Esmeré and Professor Cronkite just before calling all of you, but I would appreciate your help as well. We need as many heads as we can working on how to get through that barrier.
you all of a sudden? They're just interrupting us? Oh, these blasted, trying to force their way into our co- The Demon Spheres in the 3rd, 11th, and 12th districts have been destroyed. Big congrats! I see you've managed to get your communications network back online, too. Which means we're ramping up for the grand finale. Yet you still have a whole two and a half hours to spare. Looks like I made this a little too easy. I wouldn't want you to feel bored during the big climax, though. Which is why I've decided to add another barrier around Vontai. <laughs> what?